Okay, guys, one of the things we're going to look at today with how I edit with Adobe Lightroom Classic. I moved from Lightroom 6 to Lightroom Classic. First of all, here's what we're working with. Look how crystal clear this is with the Ricoh GR3. This was me walking in stride. This person, I almost ran into him. You can check it out on, my, on one of my videos there. And as you can see, I did not add any clarity to this at all, just a little bit of texture. Let's see how that, uh, what, what changes if I just pull this texture out. Nothing noticeable. I like a little bit in there. Go back to plus 10 where we had it. Now you can see I really did not change anything here. If you took some of these lights, if you took some of the whites out, yeah, it's just a little dull. Um, I didn't add too much exposure. Let's go back to that. Uh, wherever we were at there, I forget where we were at, but that's fine right there. So took some black out. Here is where the magic comes in. If you go back to zero on the black, you can see there's just a regular shadow. And again, if you just pull that down, there you go, wherever you want to go down to about 60. I don't want to go too far. I like having a little bit of that in there. If you, you could go all the way down and, you know, just a little too much. So 60 is what we're going to stick with. We've only got a little bit of contrast in there, not too much. Really makes no difference. Not much difference at all in the contrast. So it's mainly the black that 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 makes the difference and the white. You want to make sure you 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 that it's it shows up nicely, maybe even a little bit more. You can always take this down a little bit, but no reason to mess with that. Okay, so you can see I didn't do anything else here uh, other than I uh, well I didn't even sharpen it. So let's go ahead. Wow. I want to take that up to about 60 and that should even be better. Just look at that. You can see the pores on his skin there. All right. Okay. So that's what we're working with there. Normally I use this as well. If you hold down the control or the alt key and drag this over, uh, this means everything is being sharpened. The further you drag it, uh, everything in white is being sharpened. So this means that none of the black is being sharpened there. If I just touch that, you push down on your uh, left click, right click, I'm sorry, right click. I'll go ahead and do that. So there we go. And then just let up, and uh, that means none of this is being sharpened. Although I do want to go back and pull that down just a little bit more. Okay, and I do the tone curve. Typically, I'll mess with this sometimes. I'll go ahead and, and add a little bit here. And what you'll see here is this black will we'll just... It'll go out just a hair. It doesn't make much difference on this one. Landscapes things, it does. Um, and again, I do not, uh, I really don't want that contrast in there. So look how, just look how crystal clear that is. That's great. Anyway, okay, so you see I didn't do much with that. Okay, so now we move on to one that is absolutely manipulated. How is it manipulated? Well, it's manipulated quite a bit. We've got that, which is a, uh, a gradient radial or a gradient filter. We've got this, we've got this, we've got this, and we've got this. This is the very cool part about Lightroom Classic. So how do we get all this? Well, let's go to the original right here. See, there's our difference right there. there now, how, how did he pop so much? And let's go ahead and take that off and let's bring him up here. Pretty clear, pretty nice. I mean, it's, it's just a hair fuzzy, but we'll take it. I didn't put any clarity into it, just a little bit of texture. You notice I haven't done anything here, really. I added the red, and uh, actually, if we were to add some more sharpening to it, actually, that's not too bad. So uh, there we go. Oh, I did not add any of that. I did not add that. There we go. That even makes it. See, I just keep forgetting to do this because I don't normally do it with Lightroom. Um, six because it did not recognize that so that even you saw that made a little bit of a difference there there we go just a hair okay so what we've got that's our original or I'm sorry this is what we're this is what we're trying to obtain so here's what we uh, we start with first thing we're gonna do guys go up here right here masking let's go back oh I'm sorry actually first thing we want to do here is typically I set those up okay so there we go now uh, I know I'm gonna add that saturation there so and that's all I'm going to do so I'm going to go ahead and close that out the detail we're going to have that up to about 60 so we'll go ahead and close that out don't need to have that there don't need any more of this 
I'm not doing any of this. We're doing no cur no nothing there. I'm not messing with the tone curve. A lot of people, that's the only way they, did, they edit. I do use this sometimes, but uh, not for this. Okay, so here we go. Uh, I'm going to add some texture, which because I always like a little texture in there, and maybe a little vibrance for the heck of it. I'm probably going to want some whites. I know I'm going to want dark. Okay, now what we're going to do here is uh, we're not going to worry too much more about this because we're going right here. Choose our masking. Let's go down here and just add a little more. There we go. You can see my catalog there. It's off and I get out there this year. Okay, the let's go to let's just go ahead and get rid of that so you're not. Uh, okay, so what we will do here, and we got rid of that. Now is we're going to select subject. All right, just hit select subject. And down here you're seeing detecting subject. Give it a moment. It will get there. Okay, so now what you see here is a perfect, perfect outline of the subject. Okay, so but how do we edit this when this red is there? Well, all you got to do is go up here. Let's go ahead and expand this. There he is. We show overlay. There we go. Okay, we just click that. So we don't want that. Now we can play with him. So what do we do here? We'll pull this up a little bit. Pull the whites up there a little bit. Pull our shadows. Again, I actually just want to keep adding to him there. Okay, so uh, that looks nice. Let me go ahead and do this and we'll bring him up and there we go so that's a little bright little little washed out there so we will go back here and choose this again and now we know we're just going to bring our highlights down a little bit there we go okay for right now that's fine now what we're going to do here is we're going to choose and, and for right now that's fine we're going to go ahead and choose another mask because now we're going to manipulate all of this around him so we're going to once again create new mask, select subject again. Computer will go through and do its thing. Okay, now right back where we started, but we're on a different mask now. We're on mask number two. So what we want to do, we don't want him selected. So we're going to go here, subject one. This is under mask number two. First one was mask number one. So right here, subject one, we want to invert. Now we've got everything else except him. So let's pull this down. So again, this is what we're working with, but this is what we're seeing. Now we can pull this down a little bit. We can pull our blacks way down, whatever you want to do. Pull that contrast down a little bit. I don't particularly care for this type of color, so we don't want to go down that far. But see there, just see what, look at what we've done there. Now, as we go back up here and we go... So this was what I originally started with. This was my original one. This is the one I just did for you. And as you can see, eh, quite a bit of contrast in there. So let's, uh, let's go back to mask number two, which was, if you're always, there, okay, there we go. It was that one. We've got, we don't really want that much. Uh, well, let's pull that back up. There we go. Now, what I would probably do here, I would pull some of that saturation down. Um, the, there's little things we can mess with on this if I wanted to. Again, you can go in and out with the exposure all you want. Or if you, you know, now you say, okay, I like that. But now, how do I get my linear? Okay, we go up here to create new mask. There's our linear gradient. There's our radial gradient. So here's what our linear, there we go. And if we go ahead, now you see where that's at. Pull that down and pull that down again this is way too much and way too it just it, I mean you've got to make sense with these you don't want to look you know too too crazy with it so we like that one now let's go ahead and make another one for the other side so we create new mask linear gradient we'll go down this way with it that just kind of gets everything so we're creating a path through here kind of a triangle if that's the way we want to look at it pull that down and that's what we see there so it just add something to it. Now, if you wanted to make a, 
radial gradient. You click that and that basically gives you something like this. So you could have turned it this way, kind of brought it here, something like this. And again, just so you can see what we're working with there. And now you, I could have, you know, I mean, I obviously wouldn't, but I could have brought that up. That's how you manipulate it. Those three are the main function, the, which let me get rid of this. Now, if I just decide I don't want this, of course, we will uh, delete this mask. So that's that. Now, there we go with that. There we have that one. There we have that one. And this is the one I still actually want to pull this down a little bit here. I would probably... That's this one here. So this is our original mask here. I would probably bring this up a little bit. There we go. Something like that. Again, I don't know. Eh, let's uh, go here. Let's go up into there. We don't really want to go that. Let's bring this back over. 50%. So again, you see what we're working with there. And that's, so we go back to our original photograph, which is this one, which is again, see, this was too dark. I like this one. The one we just did, I like much better. So and if we go back again, uh, so I'm just going to get rid of this one and make it a, I'm just going to reset that whole thing there. That's the original photo we started with. And that's what we've got. Maybe a little too, you know, you could pull down some of that saturation there, or excuse me, some of that contrast if you wanted, but that's actually very clear after walking. So th there you go, guys. There's two of them. One that was natural, one that I really manipulated. Let's go one more here that we're going to manipulate. This lady here, you saw how you did the mask. Well, here we go. We only used one mask for her. I will choose that mask right now and boom that's what we had now you see over here how that uh, let's show that okay there we go that was the original mask and i used the subtraction with the brush and i got rid of this part down here i was able to erase that away and if i wanted to just get rid of that which i don't now i'm going to hit uh, control z to undo um, that's all you have to do if you want to subtract or you can add by simply adding with the brush or anything you want to do like that which I don't want to do so I want to undo that there we go so there we have her and you can see what I did with her over here I brought this exposure way up we could go way down if I wanted to get rid of her so uh, now is she gonna look real good in here probably not let's uh, what else did I do here added the whites I added the texture so now let's zoom in uh, you know not too much noise there she doesn't look too bad I could probably add some clarity even into the whole picture but again uh, you know social media wise it just it looks a little weird now there's something there we could play with oh, it's, okay I'm not sure I th oh that must have been a swipe I did but anyway um, again it just it brings it out so what we start with originally you know, there we go that's what we had originally there's what we what we came up with so it's uh, I like it it's uh, you call it cheating whatever you want to call it it's not replacing anything it's just helping bring that out something that a lot of people spend a lot of time in photoshop doing here's another one i really did not do much to and let's get that up there um, this one you can see this is the original all i did I actually probably could have played with these sh with those reflections there a little bit and i just blackened that out but again, I didn't do much. You can see over here, I did not do much to it. So we'll see what we have here. And there we go. All I did was blacken that out. It wasn't even necessary to do that. Uh, these ladies here, this was another job where you can see this was the original. I just, again, if we go to the overlay and we show it, there we go. And, the, and it just, it, it's amazing how it just picks that out. Not much difference, but, you know, of course, I also straighten things out a little bit, which, uh, which we would have done down here on the transform, I'm sure. Yep, the auto transform straightened everything up so I didn't have to tip anything and see that. It's all crooked. You just go here, your auto on the upright under transform, and boom, create helps create that. Okay, here's a good example. 
Here's another good example of where I did not do hardly anything to the photo other than bring these blacks down. But again, here is the before and after. There's before and there's after. You can see all I did was, I mean, again, bring these blacks down, minus 41, and boom. You see, I really did not do much of anything to this one. Um, so uh, that's, uh, that's what we're looking at there, guys. This one here, a good example of uh, using the masking as well. I'm not going to go through the whole thing again. Here's a before and after. Not much difference. All I did was add the masking. And if we go back to our original, and you'll see I only used one. Whoops. I only used one mask. And there you have it. Why I left it there. Let's see. Okay. So normally, however, I would, I don't know why I did not do this, I would go to subtract, I would take the brush. And I would get rid of, I mean, I don't want the shadow lightened. I don't know why I did that. Okay, so, and then now, see, here's a little, there's some in there that, I think I messed with this just for this. Okay, so, and you can go through and clean that up if you want. Uh, of course, we can zoom in or what have you, but at any rate, there we go. So, there she is. And again, get rid of this, and let's look at a before and after. There you have it. Did not do much. And if we zoom in, there's a little bit of noise there, but it's no, not much different than the rest. Uh, now, this one was a good, good example of, um, I like that, but this was the original. I don't know, the color probably would have been cool too, but uh, you see, I didn't really do anything here. Didn't really do much. Just made it into black and white. Here's one here that you would think was very heavily manipulated, yet it was not. Again, this is the one that I was would post. And now he's not completely, yeah, he's pretty, not too sharp. Eh, it's okay. Again, let's get down here and, yeah, I did add some sharpening there. But uh, we're looking at this. And again, that was our original. This is what we came up with. I just I just like adding that. It just, just takes away from looking here, and it, it, it takes you into the subject there. And one other, this gentleman here, you can see there was not much difference here either. Maybe I overcooked it a little bit, actually. A little too much clarity in this one. Would have been better off to... Bring up some high, some whites. There we go. So at any rate, you can see here, this is what I started with. This is what we, we ended with. Some would say, yet again, a little too golden tan in there. Maybe if we brought down some of that vibrance, not really sure. That might help a little bit. Some of the saturation even. There we go. That might be a little better right there. I like that. A little washed out look. Or if I wanted to bring in a little more blue, I can do it that way. Make it a little cooler. So there we go. That's actually better. See, the more time you spend with these, these would have been better if I had I went through and made the video for, or made this video first. So anyway, that's what we're working with, guys. So wanted to do this for you. I thought it was going to be a quick video that may have turned into a long video. I'm not sure. Uh, hopefully it, uh, it, it showed you a little something. I don't do a ton of manipulation, uh, just a little bit, but I do like the masking. I didn't do any masking here, I don't believe. Let's find out. And up just on there and just on there. So yeah, really no masking. I, I did a little swipe here to make this, to bring that out, to make it, you know, again, to make it pop. So there we go, guys. Hopefully that was helpful. And uh, sorry, I'm a day or two late on getting this out. But uh, again, these are all Rico GR3 files. So that's what we're working with today. Hope that was of interest to you. And uh, we'll have some more next time. All right, guys, take care.